Good evening, everybody. I am back. I wanted to update you on what's going on with me in the courts right now. Right now, I had my fingerprints done a while back, which you know I showed you. Um, that was that the results came back before the court dates, which is you know funny. People go based on what somebody's saying, then proof behind what they're saying, talking about. So when I had court. Um, I didn't say anything. I didn't say a word. They can, they can replay that back to me with support. Um, these people will lie and, and, and say anything. And keep in mind, this is the system. The system is corrupted. So regardless if you're doing something right or wrong, whatever they choose to do, and however they choose to do it, that's how they're gonna do it. They don't care if they're doing it the wrong way or the right way. They're gonna do it like that. It's the system. So, but when I had court, they were like sitting there talking about how um, the judge was asking um, the status of the, the ability of the parent and the psycho, uh, psychological evaluation. That's not until October 11th. That's after the court date. So they're talking amongst themselves to my mom has been complying, you know, whatever. But the judge was just trying to refresh their memory that this is not uh, a, a, a hearing for the mother to have unsupervised visits. This is just a, 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 a update, you know, trying to see if you guys moved up the, the ability to the parent or not. And they didn't, because my case worker to my, she calls. I don't understand what people say, are you gonna tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, right? But they don't, they lie. Because ain't nobody gonna go behind them and check to see if they're telling the truth or not. So they're like saying, um, at my kids were like, yes, I call, but you know, there, there have no availabilities, blah, blah, blah. She probably called one time, that was it. I'm not studying these people. Keep in mind, if they ain't got nothing to do with them, they're not gonna really care. So I told them straight up a while back, y'all pretend to sit in my face and care and try to take my kids from me. Well, I don't care about y'all. I was being real. I didn't care about their feelings, I was being real. Some people say, oh, I'm real, I'm real. You, you can't say you're real, but don't really be blunt with it, be out there. I'd rather for somebody to tell me straight up than to kind of sugarcoat it. So she's saying that she's calling every, I'm like, I don't see any calling. I know she ain't calling. And then, you know, everybody is trying to defend me, you know, saying mom has been compliant, mom's been on track and doing this, that. And then, you know, judge is like, oh, if you guys can come to an agreement to um, have mom have unsupervised visits, like have them come over the house and spend the night or whatever. I'm like, I'm like, I, I feel like they need a psychological evaluation. They, they do. They need a psychological evaluation. Because you can say something to them, and they let it go in one ear and out the other. I am like, up to here with them. Up to here with them. Like, I'm really tired. And I've been trying to keep my cool, because I do have a temper. I get mad. If you push me, I will snap on you. I don't care how you feel. Because if you come at me the wrong way, obviously you can dish how I feel. So, that's how I do it. Now, um, I was trying to kind of uh, figure out like what's going on. So I'm listening to them talk, listening to them talk, listening to them talk. And the way they're talking, and they tell my, you're telling my family members that, oh, if you can hold off until the home study's done. But then the way they're talking in court is like, you're, they're making it seem like they're trying to wait until the, uh, the psychological and ability of the parent in court is finished. And then I'm like, because I had messaged him a long time ago, like, okay, if this gets done and the results come back, then what? What y'all gonna decide then? Because I don't have time for this. Like, y'all y'all prolonging and prolonging something because y'all wanna get the money, y'all wanna get paid. You think about it, it's like a lawyer taking your case. The longer it goes, the more money he's making off of you. And then you have to pay him out of your pocket because the case is still going on and on. He's scratching and he's making it long. And sometimes, they continue it for a long time, so you won't get the money. So I, I don't know. I heard it from somebody. They say the longer that the lawyer, I guess, prolongs the case or your, your whatever, you're not gonna get that money. They, they, they have a ways of working stuff. They have their ways of doing stuff. If you know how to work the system, they gonna do it. So I say this. I say I was, I was thinking to myself, like, they're just doing this for a paycheck, which they are and they don't care about nobody's feelings. They pretend to care, but they don't care. They don't care. 
and I'm getting kind of at the point where I just want to be done with it. Like it's two years already, and I already felt like it was gonna be just November anyways. Because once I do the, the that that result, I'm gonna go into the office and see what they're gonna say to me, because I'm gonna tell them straight up. I want something printed out on paper. I don't care if you email my um my my caseworker. I want something for myself, because I don't trust nobody, and people are lying to my face and in everybody else's face about certain things. I want. Something in writing said I was here, I took the test, that's gonna take a certain amount of days to get done. Now they probably gonna say no, they're not gonna do that. I know they are. I don't, I don't have time for it. So I'm, I'm gonna have to kind of pull this old, like, you know, I, I'm just gonna have to do something because they, they they really pushing me. And I feel like they are gonna try to, you know, prolong it even after the fact. I'm not trying to be negative about the situation, but I have to be realistic too at the same time. Because uh, it's it's going on way too long, so hopefully, hopefully, because my my digital parent report got pushed up, so I had one out there. I think last week Monday, and I asked them, oh blah blah blah, do you have anything else? Because I don't feel like my casework is calling. Do you have anything in that uh, available for sooner? And then they asked me, uh, why do you want to move it up? Because I'm going through a situation. My kids, my family member, you know, blah, blah, blah. They said, okay, we don't have anything right now until December, but if you, um, but if you can, um, we'll give you a call. That's what they said. They'll give you a call. And I said, okay, fine. And ironically, they gave me a call. Thank God they did. Thank God. Whoever it was canceled, thank you. <laughs> thank you for canceling. I'm, I'm seriously, so. So. Once this is, once I get the results back, cause they, they, they gonna try to pull some bullshit. I hope they don't. I just hope that, you know, they be done with this shit because they getting tired of it, they damn selves. But hopefully, hopefully the results get to them within 15 days. Hopefully they schedule a court hearing by 15 for the results. And don't ask my caseworker or my supervisor to get the shit for you. Cause I already know they're gonna be like, oh, it hasn't arrived yet. What? I'm going to check in and I'm going to check in on the, the people who gave me that test and say, okay, is the results in yet? Did the results come? I don't want to hear that shit. Okay, oh, did we ain't get the results yet? I don't want to hear that shit. I don't hear that. Goddamn, man. So, I'm going to spend my weekend very, very, very... Very quietly and, and oh, I moved the camera. Very quietly and, and all that stuff. I'm watching, trying to relax. Yes, I got a full-grown yard out there. It's almost knee high that I gotta do. I'm getting tired of doing my yard. I really am. I'm gonna show you that tomorrow, and then we'll see what happens up there. Cause I might go out there and pour some, some, some something to kill the grass. Like yo, I'm getting tired of the grass. No grass. Put some sand out down back there and call it a day. But there's a little bit more stuff I gotta update you on. And then when I do, um, when I do, um, when I do, um, that's it. I don't know. Yeah. I think that's all I gotta say. I just wanted to update you on the courts. They say I'm gonna be getting my kids back by the end of September. Why lie and say that on an email? I'm gonna get my kids back in September if you're really debating on waiting to after the the, the the parents. I don't know. They just they don't care. They don't. They say what they want. They lie. They don't have no consequences behind their lying. So, oh, how is my communication bad? My uh, too. I wanted to tell you too. When I went to go get um sign my home study, right? It was early in the morning, 7:30, and my caseworker arrived a little bit a few seconds after I did so I signed in so she had she had uh, the case the the home study was this thick see how my forehead is that thick a book size it, was, it wasn't like a few pieces of paper it was this thick right this thick and I'm like the fuck she didn't even have a copy for me ready when I got there. So she wasn't planning on giving me a copy. 
So she's standing there trying to explain herself why, why we so hostile, we so uh, all this amorosity and all this bullshit, you know, coming at her. My, you know what I'm trying to say. And I'm like, I ain't say nothing because I know if I would have said something, I would have went off on her. I would, I would just snap. Like, yo, are you serious? Like, are you guys stupid or something? Like, if I'm if I'm trying to reach out to you and you don't respond back to me, if I if I if I reach out to you and communicate with you and yet again you don't respond back to me, or if I'm same thing with my lawyer, I contact my lawyer, no response. Two days pass, three days pass, no response. A whole week will pass. They sent me an email. They didn't give me no warning or anything that they were gonna contact me. They just sent me an email today of I think it was the twentieth. It was a Tuesday that passed. It was Tuesday that just passed. They sent me an email saying that, oh, you're, here's a copy of your home study because I asked her for a copy of her home study. Because my caseworker didn't want to give me a copy of home study. Because when I asked her for a case, for a copy of the home study, she said, she, I said to her, I can't get a copy of the home study. She said, which part? Why which part if I'm signing for the whole thing? She said, um, oh, I said to her, the whole thing because obviously you guys have a lot to say to the courts and then she said that oh you can get it from your lawyer and then i said you guys are something else because if i'm coming to you asking you for a copy of something i signed off on you shouldn't have a problem giving me the whole thing now you tell me what part why can't why do i have to get parts of something i signed off for the whole thing i'm pretty sure they got stuff from the first case the second case and up to that all that built up it's just for the jury to see now, if you're trying to put something against me, all this is going to come back on you real hard. Because if you're trying to be nasty and evil because of whatever personal reasons you're going through, it's just going to come back on you. So, my lawyer my lawyer finally contacted me Tuesday, which did pass. So, somehow I got to do a phone call with her, I guess, whatever, whatever, whatever time. And then I emailed her and said, okay, can you reach back to me, blah, blah, blah. She said, oh, we contacted you, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm like, this is where I'm talking about communication. Even though you contacted me, you could have called, left a voicemail just to make sure I got that email. Because with my therapist, a month passed before I even started doing a therapist with her because she had, you know, issues. I canceled and they told me they kept sending me an email, but I never saw anything. So, you know, even though you give somebody an email confirmation, there could be issues and errors that where the email is not coming through. So they kept reaching back to me saying, did you receive the email? Did you receive the email? They kept reaching back, which that communication with them was all right. But my, my the, the people in China, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But they kept reaching back to me saying, did you reach me? So she tried a different source, right, to actually send me an email. And it went through, came through. I signed it off, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm already doing my therapy sessions. Now. See, this is where um, this is where it, it gets to a point where it's like I told her that that communication needs to be a point where if you sent the information to me, you should have called and made sure I got the information because I don't know what's going on with you guys. I don't know if you um you know like I do work. You know what I'm saying? I'll be on my phone 24/7. So if I don't get the e email from you guys, at least call. Like okay. We left you an email, blah, 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 to make, a, make sure you have an appointment. I do check my emails, because I do have a voicemail on my phone, blah, blah, blah. So, I, I just need to, um, I just want to be done with this, so I can move on with my life, so it won't be any more issues. Hopefully, when court comes up October 4th, I'll be like, mm, and y'all face like, whatever. It's I, want, I really be wanting to snap on somebody, but I really be wanting to snap on somebody. Just because I'm, I hold it in and I don't get to say what I want to say when I want to say it. So, yeah. Right. But either way it goes, I'm going to, um, I guess, conclude this video. Because this is it for a moment. I'm just updating you on what happened with China and the courts. Like I said, don't let these people get into your life. But they act like they want to control and do whatever they want. And then they act like they help you. Keep in mind, these are just people. Just like me and you. Working. So if they got a personal attitude, problem, whatever, they bitter, unhappy, they gonna take it out on you. They gonna take it out of you. It's never the company, it's always the people working in the company that's always doing shade to other people. So 
be careful with that. And I'll see you guys on another video. And I'll be back soon.